watching the home of old mates, Backyard Tech. Arvo all. It is Wednesday afternoon here in Australia and uh, getting ready to install ESXi onto the 730. Now I'm going to statically assign its IP addresses and everything like that. I've already worked out where in my address space it's going to go. And remember, this thing's only going to host two VMs. This is going to host my two main VMs. So hopefully it, A, sees, sees the RAID controller, which is good. Now, as far as the RAID controller is going to go, you're all going to howl on me. I'm going to get called multiple four-letter word combinations. But what I've done is ESXi is going on to a 500 gig hard drive. And then the two one terabyte drives have been raided into RAID 1. And that's where it's going to stay. So I can put two, you know, almost 450 gig machines onto here. And I'm happy. I've got redundancy being RAID 1. Yes, there's a massive performance drop off. Do I care? No. So let's hope it can find the SAS expander. So I've had a little trouble with the Eufy boot and the um, SAS expander. Okay, and it is there, right under the 550. So you can see here, I've got 931 gig. So I can put two 450 gig machines into the Dell. I'm not complaining. I mean, I can put two six core, because remember, ESXi will see this as 16 CPUs. So I can actually put two six core VMs into this, which I'm wrapped. So we'll put it into the, yeah, it can go into that one. Go into that. All right, let me do passwords and everything and we'll be back. All right, so I'm happy with that installer. Now, strangely enough, I did use a USB key for ESXi. Look, USB, not, where is it? Optical, see, USB. And I'll prove it too. There's no disc there. And there's no network cable either. So I'm installing from a USB key. That'll be a shock to a lot of people. <laughs> See, I love the fact that people sit there and say, no, you've got to install from USB. Well, why? Oh, because it's better. Does that actually make any difference? Not really. You know. So this will do. Um, so basically, it's, really, it, it's actually really quiet. I could almost leave it in here if I wanted to, but I won't. Servers have got to go out in the server cabinet. Because if it does get hot in here and this thing decides to ramp up, it's going to be get real noisy real fast. All right. Just make sure this gets finished off and be right to go then. All right, back in a tick. And we're done. <laughs> just ejected the... Ha! <laughs> ha! It just ejected the... the disk drawer, only it didn't come off the disk drawer, it came off the um, USB key. This will take a short time to complete. So there we go. Get the USB key out. See, this had a ESXi installer on it. Shock horror. <laughs> if you don't install stuff by USB, it doesn't install. Well, that's not true. I'll tell you that right now. I'm wrapped with this. 16 gig of RAM and an 8 core 16 thread CPU. It is now officially my most powerful uh, x86 server I think I've ever had. Sure, it's old, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Let's face it these days. In fact, beggars can't do a lot, but that's a different story. Alrighty, 
Let's see if this boots. Now I've set this default to Eufy mode. So there's no legacy OSs going on this server. If an OS, I mean, this server's only going to run two operating systems anyway. Um, the Acer can stay with the rest of them. It's very slow on mechanical hard drive, isn't it? I mean, it takes a really long time to boot this server because it is, you know, coming on mechanical hard drives. 15.9 gig of RAM. And there's the unit. Eight core, 16 thread. Monster. I'm happy with that. So I've got, in one CPU, I've got more proc power than the Ace has got. Let's just make sure everything loads properly. And then the job will be done. Which is really, really nice. Time and data are out of whack. I can fix them later. This is actually even quieter than the um, 720XD. All right, so it's picked up the network cards, which are good. It should have only picked up the four, not the ILO. I hope. BFC is loaded. Starting system. IO filter. Host D. That's all good. Looks good. I think we're ready to go. VM tools D, which is good. Going to need them. And we're ready to rock. Look at that. Job done. You little ripper. So there we are, guys. ESXi is installed. I will do the IP configuration and everything later. And tomorrow we will, uh, I guess, strip the cabinet down and put it all together. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll catch you tonight for the convos. Have a good one. Cheers.